Being a videographer or a filmmaker, I never sell myself as a photographer. I think photography for me has just become something that I kind of like keep for me. It's just kind of like that pressureless thing that I can do in the arts where I can just totally think of only the moment. And through the course of my video career, I've learned a couple of things regarding light and composition and angle and just general storytelling, especially when it comes to directing. So uh, I started dabbling a little bit more in photography in that sense, applying it from a video perspective. Today, I'm just going to show you guys how you can, with editing, make your photos look a little bit more cinematic. Call it a couple of secrets, if you would. First, I need to put on a different shirt and then I just need to get all the lights on and get the set ready for the tutorial. The shoot that I'm going to show you guys today and reference for this tutorial was for friends of ours. And just, just, just look how epic, epic these photos came out. Okay, so the first thing we need to take into account when we shoot photos to make them look a little bit more cinematic, you can use this concept for video as well, but we're focusing solely on photos, is to have your main source of light coming in from one angle and to just have like a darker, no sense of light area on the opposite side where your light's coming from, just to have that negative light bounce back onto the subject, you know, just to have that effect that it's not completely dark on the side. If you can look at this image, the light's coming in from the window. It's not completely dark on the side here, but it's still giving that shaping wrap around light wrapping around the face effect and still allowing for a shadow to be slightly on the side of the subject. These photos, I've already done the editing on these photos, so I'm not gonna physically go through the color and all of that that I did. I'm just gonna show you one secret with Lightroom and one secret with, with Photoshop that I use to just really amplify that cinematic look in a photo. So the first thing that you wanna do here is if I look at this photo, for instance, I'll go and I'll add a linear gradient and I'll add the linear gradient from the angle where the light is coming from, from the main source where the light is coming from. And then from here, it's on the right hand side here. So I just want to pull it over there and I just want to slightly, just, just slightly bump up the exposure there, slightly lift the shadows a little bit more, a little bit less of, a little bit less contrast and then bring down the blacks a little bit more. So that's just kind of like amplifying that light slightly. So that what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna add another one. But now I'm gonna add it from the negative side of the image where the light isn't that strong. But I'm gonna bring down the shadows a little bit more. I am going to pump up the contrast slightly and I'm gonna bring down the exposure just slightly, just slight, just minor things, or like, just, it's like a buildup of all these minor little tweaks. Now that I've kind of like amplified the light side and I've amplified the negative fill side, I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna get edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now, this is like the top secret part. And it's not a secret because I'm giving it to you guys, but it like it took me a while to kind of like figure this out and it's just to kind of like just amplify that cinematic look you can get, you can create with, with an image. Okay, so I've got the photo here. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to create an adjustment layer solely black and white, right? So the image is black and white now. And then I want to change my blending mode to multiply. Now what I want to do is I just wanna pump up the reds and the yellows and you're gonna see why I wanna do this because I don't wanna lose any skin tone color with the next, the next move that I'm gonna do and just slightly a little bit more of the blue. And then I'm gonna bring down the opacity to about roughly 12%, 13%. Now I'm gonna create another adjustment layer. With this adjustment layer, I want to create a gradient, right? Now, 
the angle of the gradient I want to change to the angle of where the light's coming from and kind of like the the color scheme that I was going for with this specific shoot and what they were going for with the outfits that they were wearing um, I wanted to go for a bit more of a grayish black and whitish feel but also still have the color in there so I just want to change the color of the gradient here and just bring that down for it to be a little bit more on the grayish side but more of like a, an orange brownish gray tint right so I've got that on You'll, you guys will see it doesn't look like much now it looks it looks cheap but you'll see you'll see where this is going and I'm gonna bring down the opacity of that also quite low I think like 26 28 percent yeah that's fine that's kind of cool you know it's kind of like just drawing the focus into into our emotion in this specific image I've got the gradient full and now I'm gonna go for another adjustment layer and this adjustment layer I'm just gonna go for a solid color and I know this does not make sense whatsoever but I'm gonna go for like that same brownish grayish color right then I want to go there and I want to change the blending mode I want to change the blending mode to lighten and then from there I'm gonna bring down the opacity to about 12 percent right so even that it just makes a slight difference in the overall like filter so what I want to do now, I'm going to take the last one, I'm just going to bump up the vibrance a little bit because the vibrance does go away if you just overlay it with a little bit more of that grayish effect. So I just want to bring the color full down to 20%, that'll be enough. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to control S, I'm just saving this image. Now I'm going to go back to Lightroom so it's gonna have a copy of this image next to the original one that we that we have in Lightroom right this is our original file and this is the Photoshop file so it's just kind of like darkening what needs to be darkened without it going away and completely flattening out and it's just making the subject pop a little bit more so the next one is this image that i want to show you guys here you can see it's an absolute gorgeous image okay so i'm going to take that image and i'm going to go to photoshop then i'm going to show you a different trick because you're probably thinking wow that's a lot of effort to do with all these photos it is but what you can do is you're going to go to the first one you worked kind of like hard on hard on right you're going to go and you're going to group them together now you're going to take that group and you're going to copy it, right? And then, boom, you're just going to throw it over your image. And from there, you can just see, look what a difference it makes, you know? And even the shadow side, it just brings out a different color as well. And it's something that just stands out completely. That's a quick little tip on how to, you know, just really sharpen those images and, uh, and make them pop out and look a lot more cinematic. Cool. Thank you guys for joining today's video. I appreciate it. If you haven't done it before, go and watch the video on the screen here. Five ways how you can improve your photo and video skills. And then you can kind of like interlink that with any of the other editing or video tutorials I have on the channel. Thank you.